Hey everybody, I wanted to, uh, I scrambled here, threw my mic on and everything and almost spilled my coffee. I wanted to show you guys this really cool um, auto spreader on trading technologies. Now I'm using Futures Plus um, through TradeStation. Okay, it's the same kind of platform, pretty much. White label, if you want to call it. But uh, somebody asked me to look into this and I was really interested. And I've even tweeted trading technologies and I was trying to figure out this thing because I wanted to put a spread together on first the micro NQ versus uh, the ES versus the micro NQ. I wasn't able to do it. I was getting some errors. Uh, I got the guys over at TradeStation looking into it. Maybe ask trading technology if it's an allowable synthetic spread. But here's my trading view account. And, you know, we're looking at a spread on the ES versus NQ rather than trade the outright. If we have the option to trade a spread. How would that look? Man, it looks like pretty damn good. And I saw down here, I was trying to put it together real quick here and see how that trade would look. So um, anyways, I'm going to go to my sim trade account here on, on um, this is my general template that I have on my trading technologies, which is pretty nice. I like it. And basically, we're going to pull up an auto spreader tool here. And you can put a star here and actually put it up here in your, uh, should be here in your favorites. So you could star this thing. I don't know, whatever. There it is. Right up there. So we're going to create, I'm going to go ES. I'm going to create, I'm going to click on, uh, I want the June contract. So let me just do forward slash ES. And that was another little trick. And then they're the same. I'm going to do forward slash NQ. They're both about the same uh, notional value. So I'm just doing June versus June plus one minus one. So ES minus NQ with the one and one multiplier. So the multipliers are the same because the notionals are the same. It, it, more or less, right? So it's one versus another. And the calculation size, I don't have to override it here because they, they trade by the quarter ticks. So this is a, was a pretty easy one to build. And then to apply it and save it, you got to put the name. So ES... I erased my other ones earlier to show you versus N minus NQ. I just save it as that. Hit apply. I can X this screen off. Now my auto spreader, I have this saved. When those contracts expire, they'll also expire here. Then you'll have to build a new one. You can go to the launch tool, uh, click on it, and then on the launch tool, automatically do open up your MD trader. You can open a chart real quick. Look how nice this looks on a chart. Um, I haven't been able to get the default settings to save the way I like on my chart. I don't like, I like really super dark and I don't like grids, you know, so oops. I'll just black it out for now. Apply, save, whatever. So that's your spread. That's ES minus NQ. And I wanted, uh, looking at that with the candlesticks and then looking at the spread here. I'm like, all right, let's go along. It's already been a little while since we found this, and it's gone in our direction. So on the spread itself, you can pull up um, the MD Trader. You can minimize this chart real quick, and then go on launch and say, okay, give me the MD Trader with, the, with, all, with both legs. So check that out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I got ES, I got NQ, and I have the spread here. And I'm one position net long. Um, Right now on this, if you go to the sim deal here, let me get rid of this crude oil thing that I've been. Yeah, how can I get that out? Let's get rid of crude. I'm just going to leave that there because I'm testing something on it. And then I have a corn spread that's just scratching right now that I'm working on. And then here's ES. Okay, so it's kind of losing right now. Here's ES. Let me even get corn out of here so it's calculating this the PL. here's the trade i put it on a few minutes ago and i said i'm going to make a video about this pretty cool so there's that spread working itself and you could put in the order directly here on the on the on the spread so let's say here i want to keep i want to be out maybe if we can hit a level here like five five seven nine i'm going to go ahead and i can do it directly on this auto spreader which is pretty cool i'm sorry is this Ooh, what did I do? Five, five, eight, four. Yeah, five, five, eight, four. You just put a an order way up here. 
and say, okay, 5584. Anywhere here, just whatever. You want to like close it. You want to sell to close. Right? So it's just more or less up there. When prices get up there on, on the spread, okay, I have a resting order. I haven't figured out how to put like a close, uh, you know, stop on these things yet, guys. I'm working on this one particularly. Just discovering things here as I'm sitting at my house and uh, trying to trade intraday too to, to make some money. Uh, just pretty much working the spreads out and testing them and feeling them out and uh, they're pretty interesting so we'll have to look at the risk reward blah 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 and all that stuff and see where do we want to stop this how much we're willing to take maybe um are we willing to maybe like you know if this thing runs down to a certain area to say that the trade's no longer good but pretty much right now i'm looking at the spread between es and q june contracts we went in in our trade station futures plus <clears throat> we put in we brought up an auto spreader we made the synthetic kind of the spread on our auto spreader and then put in a one order on the actual ratio okay so we didn't leg in we didn't have to like uh leg into these trades es june and then go in nq june we're just on a spread we're on a direct spread and then we're using trading view which you need Pro Plus to do this to um to build these line charts to do intraday spreads here like this like I have so yeah, I'm looking at the four hour here by the way this is off just off of a four hour so it's pretty interesting I just wanted to share that with you guys all right uh, let me know what you think comment if you want me to pull up anything else and kind of look at it um, but I'll keep my eye on this and let everybody know how it how it's doing it's pretty cool anyway safe trading all right everybody I'm back so what I've heard back from from uh, Futures Plus is on the SIM side, we couldn't do the micro ES and NQ at the moment, but we can do it live. So here's the good part about this, because what I observed was um, I just put a random trade up here earlier on this line chart when I went long um, on this video on the four hour, right? But here's the deal. You got to really have the account size to, to take that because earlier on, we were just looking at it like this. Well, this little tiny little move it made was like a thousand bucks. And, you know, I'm not trying to trade and lose thousand bucks like that. I don't have account sizes to be doing that. So uh, if, you, if you're swing trading higher, um, want to swing trade these things like this where you can see really nice price patterns, you've got to have a larger account size. What I'd recommend, you can go into a smaller time frame, turn it into a candle and do what I've been doing on, um, with these frack channels and break and trading um, the break. Now... I'm still trying to perfect this. This is something I turned, I got into last week. So I'm trying to like trade these breakouts of them, right? Now, doing that just on here on this, uh, on this spread, earlier on I put a buy order here when I was testing this, but then and it sold all from under me, right? That That's that little speck on that four hour chart on the line chart. So here was the breakdown of that fractal. Here was another entry. Here was a third entry, fourth entry, and a fifth entry now okay um just this little area here i purposely dropped on on sim i did 10 contract just to get my get me back out the red because i'm testing this but it's it's pretty cool and we can do this you can do this with micros you can do a micro spread so you know this whole move down here instead of a thousand dollar drawdown would have been a hundred dollar drawdown 10 percent of the regular contracts is not, not not bad and so this is the way you can kind of do it and soothe out your margin cost again using spreads and soothing out your um, potential profit and loss and be able to swing trade a little bit longer in something um, if the nerves you're psychologically not able to do um, you know intraday trading you can kind of your intraday with this strat but you're spreading okay so you're 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 using reduced margin and you're kind of uh you're taking the volatility out of just one one market by spreading in between two i really like this auto spreader um i'm looking forward to do a, doing a little bit of more tests with it again with the micros you cannot use sim on here trade station told us that, that they're working on it but you can do a outright um on, the, on your live you can do that you could do the spread trade on your live i just wanted to to make this video to talk about the uh the auto spreader feature here and how to create your synthetic 
um, your synthetic spreads. This one right here, like I said, is ES versus uh, NASDAQ. Here's ES outright by itself. Here's NASDAQ outright by itself. Okay, and we're able to trade the ratio, the relative difference, by building the spreader and and then trade it as a spread. It's pretty cool. I just wanted to share that with you guys.